Hello, this is Shante from Brown Sugar Talks, coming to you on the new year of 2020. <laughs> I'm on the black unicorns. Anyway, so today is a new day. I've had breakfast and it was delicious. It was fucking good to me. So anyway, um, I would like to have more moments like this. Uh, I simply enjoy them. I adore them to death. So I am just like at this point where breakfast is like, you know, the number one priority. Not all the time, though. You know, I have moved from fruit to like actual like cooked breakfast. So that's kind of good for me, too. Now I need to move back into the fruit snacks. And like buying fruits and vegetables. It's just hard here. I don't know. Everything is not fresh. The fresh stuff is just, you be like, what the, where they get it from? Where you get this? It's it's farms out here. I be really mad. Like it is a farm down the street. Why is the corn dry? Why? This ain't even the right corn. I be so mad, y'all. It's like, well, you can't eat the corn anyway. Because Monsanto... It has like a double, um, you're not supposed to really eat the corn because corn got like, it, they. I think they insecticide it like three times or something. So they find like all this stuff. And Monsanto is like the only place that, that can make corn. I am not speaking bad about you. It's an article out there. Don't come for me. But yeah, um, so yeah, I'll be like concerned. You know, then the sweet potatoes, they haven't been sweet. So the lady was like, you buying yams? I'm like, no, bitch, I really did buy sweet potatoes. They just ain't. Something wrong with them. Like, what's going on with the with the with the ground here? What's going on with that? And you got to think about it too. I think they probably don't need to like keep them in the ground here because the water is saturating the because we so close to the river. Like when it gets flooded, the water saturates the ground. So it's like, where are they growing the um? Where are they growing the sweet potatoes at? Like, where are they getting them from? You know. So I'd be really concerned about getting fresh items here. You know. So I, I had I've had less fresh stuff in the, in the, like you know especially like oh my god Brussels sprouts you know I cook them and I eat it all day, but anyway so this is coming from Plus Plus I saw his list of like things that people say. I have complained enough so the things that I want to stick to is like good food like that's number one number two is like good yoga. Oh my God, yoga is like so good to me right now. I'm telling you, you it is like some of the best. It is some of the best stuff ever. Like it, it, it brings out everything. Like it's like I get to get the the frustration out, and the sadness, and the happiness, and the joy, and the unwillingness. It is like such a great release to like just do some yoga. Um. What else do I want to keep? I want to keep moments with my kid. Oh, my God. Yes, God. It is like, man, to see his face like that. He's so happy and just, like, and he bad, too. Y'all, he bad. I don't post all the videos. He bad. Like, I ain't even playing, but he a good kid. He a really good kid, but he bad. Him bad. But, um, yeah, because we play. So, it's like, yeah, he's not really bad. He's a really good kid. Um, I also like like just like learning his personality and different things like that he is he is my child you know it's just like that's the part that made me cry it's like I could not have asked for a better kid than you you know like he's like man you just so wonderful I don't even know what else to say I just think he just an awesome kid um what else and I, I think that he taking correct steps to protect himself you know like it's just like I like that he protects himself um what else I'm on so, what else do I want to keep in 2020? I want to do, like, four. That was three. I mean, I want to do five, but that was three. Um, the other thing I want to keep is um, long walks. I like my long walks, whatever. And the last thing I want to do is keep knowing people. Like, keep knowing to get to know the people around me and keeping people and just being in a space where I'm okay with, like, like being happy. You know, like, it, it's like... For me to say hi, or you have a nice dress, or I like your smile, or your eyes are gorgeous, or like I have all these good things to say, you know, I have all these artistic words for you, and um, and I don't get to keep them all, you know, you get to walk past me and I don't get a picture. How devastating is that? So yeah, I think that's my one complaint is like when people walk past and I think you are glorious and 
I don't get a picture. So, I don't know. That part, it kind of made me say, <laughs> I'm about to really cry. <laughs> what is wrong with me? It's not even time. It Like, am I hormonal? Because I'm like getting older or what? But I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> it's like, I have to walk past people and I don't get to keep a picture. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm for real. <laughs> it is so stupid right now. Like, I'm really about to cry. Like, because I'm so, I'm so happy. Like, I was so mad at one point today because I thought about everything and I was like, shit. So I slammed the fucking door and just went on with my life. But other than that, I'm just like, I'm just happy, you know, to be around. I'm happy to be here. And I'm I'm happy that, um... I have ideas, but I don't like that, that my ideas are not moving forward. So, that's it right there. It's like, I don't know. I just, that's it, you know? So, that's stuff I want to keep. I do. Oh, and I want to keep six. Number six, number six. I want to keep art. I love art. Oh, my God. It is such a really, like, I'm doing different stuff now. Like, I'm doing decoupage, like, with paper never thought I would I would okay so serious y'all I really did not consider it art I was like this is just oh my god I can roll jeez I can make these things and put in a yeah oh I love it at first it's just like oh I don't want to and it was like oh god I get to stick my fingers in paint I get to stick my fingers in paint so that was it like I just I don't know I just it just it's it's like something I like, and I like writing on top of it or whatever, like the different textures and stuff, or drawing pictures on top of it, you know, and then going back over with like all the different like markers and pencils and pens and all this different stuff. And I have come to the point where I'm satisfied with my collection of markers, pencils, and pens. I do want alcohol-based markers just to see like how the color looks different. But since they're so expensive, I was like, man, just wait. It's like a splurge right now. But um, I really do. It's like sometimes as an artist, you don't feel satisfied with what you have. And it's like what I have right now is just it's enough. Like it is so enough. You know, it's like I, I look and I'm like, oh, my God, I still I have more here. You know, like I have markers and I have markers in two different spaces. You know, I I have um, watercolor galore. Like, the watercolor is not even going out of style yet. Like, it is crazy how much watercolor I have just because I got addicted to it at some point, which I still am addicted to it. It's like I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to watercolor and how much watercolor am I going to use or whatever. You know, it's like, oh, my God. I just, watercolor is like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it, it is like so soothing it's so much more soothing than paint because it blends together better like it's like a for me it blends nicely and then you can go back and add the darks and the light and it's easy to fix like so like um with sharpie I like the blended too no well sharpie really doesn't blend it's, it's like it's not the best blending you know whatever but I kind of make it blend a little bit like if I like if you figure out how to um Oh my God, I'm doing, I'm talking art stuff. Okay, it's too much right now. But yeah, if you kind of figure out how to make the lines kind of match up a little bit and it goes into the next color, you got to keep doing it, but it works. So some things I just really love. And oh my God, there's an artist out here um, that does um, cray pies. Like they actually do like huge, he does like huge cray pie um, drawings, you know, and then he layers them. And I'm like, whoa, that was, it was nice. Yeah, so I saw his work in Springfield, Illinois, and I saw it in the Illinois, like in the part of Illinois I'm in. So it's like, man, I, I haven't worked with Cray Pods in a long time. So anyway, art is like, I'm not leaving it. I can't, I can't. And I still got other stuff to work on. Like I still got writings to work on and stuff like that. So, and I'm not, number seven, I'm not leaving my dreams and my goals and all that different stuff. Number eight. I'm not leaving Man Crush Monday. I'm sorry. I have a goal. I'm, it's like my goal. It's, it is my goal now. It is my goal to crush on men that have qualities that I like. I think it's not enough of that. I hate to be like, oh, my God, look at his ass. Like, that is, like, so not the picture. You know, like, it's like, for me, it's not. So, I don't know. I feel like the way I'm attracted to people is very important. And it's like I've actually kind of, like, put myself in the realm of, like, just not 
showing the way that I'm attracted to people, like for that mental part of themselves or whatever. So, and then people don't really do that with me either. It's not like they trying to really get attracted to me mentally. They just trying to fuck, you know? So it's like, I'm, I'm done with that shit. Like, I just want to be able to actually meet somebody that I'm talking to and have a conversation. I'm not, I'm not 12, you know, or, well, I'm sorry. No, 12, 12 year old girls do not do this. I'm not a party kid in college or whatever, you know? So, that's it. Like, I'm just not... And even if you are, because I was... Even then, I wouldn't... It wasn't that bad, you know? So, anyway, it's like, yeah, I just want to move into a realm of being able to love, you know, just, like, be in love. I just... I would like to have, a like, a serious relationship, you know? So, I'm trying. And then, number nine is... um Number nine, I guess, is, like, just continue to be me like continue to figure out what it is I want in life and stick to that you know be me stick to those guns or whatever and I think that's it I always I think I had another number 10 number 10 is I don't know I don't know what number 10 is that's that's the good thing about having a list like you can always add stuff or take it away you know so um yeah I, I just really wish and hope for the best for myself. I do. I'm trying so hard right now. You know? Even though I'm relaxed, I'm, like, really trying. But, yeah, trying hard to, like, move forward. So, anyway, guys, just please have um, the best New Year. Have the best, man. Everybody's so, like, so um, gung-ho. Like, it just seemed like everybody was so on a kick. Like, it's a new year, you know. Um, which everybody always is, but this year is different, you know, because it's a decade. So, it's like everybody's... It's, I feel like it's a different tone. It's a different way that everybody's added to their life. You know, it's it's the bigger... It's almost like it's bigger. If it's bigger, then it, it, I guess it's better or something like that. But, yeah. I don't know. I just... I don't know. Who knows? But, um, that's it. I'm trying. So, anyway, Happy New Year. Happy New Year! Why do I say it always the same fucking way? It's like, Happy New Year! I, oh my god, I made that one video and I cannot say it like in a different, like, tone. But, Happy New Year. Happy New Year! This is Shantae under Brown Sugar Talk. I mean, well, from Brown Sugar Talk with, I mean, under Black Unicorns, telling you guys to please have a great fucking day. Like, for real, and a good fucking year. It's the new year, baby.